So want to have a look in this video at uh, Ecamm's preview mode because a few people are confused about it and not quite sure what it is or how to use it. Uh, so let's have a look. Now, first of all, rather than trying to explain what it is, I'll, I'll simply get into it and we'll show you what it is. But if you're looking on your control panel here and thinking, why can't I see the preview mode? Uh, it won't appear until you're actually in a live or you're in record only. So the simplest way to bring it on screen is to just jump into record only and now in the bottom left you can see preview mode. So what I'm going to do is click on this and notice that now we've got a second window appear and you can put this wherever you want. You can resize the thing. I know some have actually put a second screen and use this that way. Um, but the idea is, and when we're live, and we're going to go live in just a minute, you'll see that uh, preview mode stays at the top and this becomes our live window. And the idea is that I can work on this current scene, or really there's two ways of using this. One is that maybe I want to bring something on screen or change it about, but I don't want it to instantly, I don't want my audience seeing me kind of repositioning and checking that this thing works. Uh, I want to get it right and then I want to hit a button and over it goes. So uh, maybe for example, I decide that I want to do a screen share in the next scene. So uh, I'm going to change this over now to a screen share. So the top left is what I'm working on. Remember this one down below is the one that my audience can see. So I'm now up here in preview mode and I'm carrying on talking and as far as anyone knows, I'm just still sitting here working away. Um, but I can actually now kind of reposition this and sort this, uh, <laughs> that's my Facebook page. Um, so I can put this up here, you know, I'm talking away. Uh, you need to be good at multitasking if you're doing this on your own. Now this does work well. Um, I'll tell you what I could do actually, look, let me stick myself in that center dot there. Um, <laughs> this does work well if you've got two people. We do a weekly show, Owen sits with me. And there's been times when we've gone, yeah, we could play that show real video or something. And while I keep talking, Owen's actually doing this work on the preview mode and getting it ready. And I can see actually when he is ready and I can stop talking and away we go. So preview mode, I've now just created, I'm in the same scene. I haven't created a new scene. I've just changed around the scene that we're in. And if I were to say back to live mode there, if I were to click this one, then it will just forget what I've done and we carry on basically just closing down this preview mode. If I hit publish, uh, now my audience are seeing the screen below. I've basically just shifted what I've just been editing and working on down to my live audience. So really good for that and uh, you know, great opportunity if you just want to go, yeah, let me come over here or it, just not quite sure already and you want to get that thing set up before you do. I mean, if you, like me, if you get your scenes ready in advance, you almost shouldn't need to be doing this, but it's great if on the fly almost you think, oh, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, let me show you that. Let me bring it in. But you want to just check or maybe you don't want people to see your files and things like that. So you can stay on that window below. So if I jump back now, so still everyone's looking at that screen share below. I'm back up over here. I hit publish and away I go. So to keep preview mode open, it's a bit clunky because you've got to constantly keep changing up here and then hitting publish. So when I think, okay, I've done that little bit of fixing that I needed to do, now I can say back to live mode. And uh, as I make changes up here, you'll see that the two are now linked again. So easy as that to go into preview mode. And if you realize you've made a mistake and you've messed things up. Maybe you're, uh, I don't know, there's so many different scenarios of what you could be doing. Maybe you're uh, rearranging where you wanted the camera to sit or something. Maybe I decided I wanted to do this and create a bit of a frame. Uh, see what I've just done there and put a bit of a frame around it. Yeah, let's publish that. And there we go. Um, I could be doing that or maybe I get into it and I think, well, I've totally messed this up. I just want to go back to where it was before. I can just hit back to live mode and it forgets what I've just been editing. So that's kind of the first scenario of it. Uh, the second one would be, and I think we do this in a live, let me just demonstrate to you how this would work. Um, I'm just going to go live. You can see there, my it's just to my profile and it's going to timeline only me. So no one else is going to see this, but it gives me a chance to demonstrate to you what's happening. 
Now I run uh, in the Ecamm Academy, we have this countdown intro timer that gives me a four minute countdown. I use this countdown timer in all of my academies really as a way just before that, you know, if we're going live at five, this comes on four minutes early, just gives people a chance to find us. You know, if anyone's in the group going, I can't find the live, it gives us a chance to point them to it. So this gives me a little bit of a buffer, four minutes before. So we're gonna go live now. And um, when I hit go live down here, this thing's gonna start. Just double checking, it's definitely going to me. <laughs> Right now I'm going to turn the sound down on that. Normally I'm stuck here. I can't go off looking and suddenly going, oh, I didn't check if my um, lower third's working or anything like that. If I go into preview mode, so you can see now that preview stays up here. This one tells me it's live. So this is what the audience is seeing. I can just jump around up here and go, yep, yeah, am I happy that all of this stuff's in place? Yep, yeah, happy with that scene. Am I in focus and everything's where I want? Yep. Yeah. Um, let's come on to this scene. This is one I just played with actually. So good job. I checked it. We want to take that off. Um, this one where I talk about a question time, uh, should have had a little, um, icon fly in there and it isn't. So let's make sure that's on again. Good job. I'm actually doing this. If this were ready for the live, it gives me a chance to check these, my screen share. Oh no, that's in a completely different place to where it was last time. Um, let's bring that down. Oh, <laughs> the window's locked. I'm thinking, what's going on? Um, all the time I'm doing this, my audience are watching the countdown. No idea what's going on. So I can be setting this up. Um, yeah, where do I want to be? I'm messing up all my scenes, actually. I need to change all these back before tonight's live. Um, my comments scene, am I happy with that? Haven't even got comments open. So um, let's jig this around. In fact, let's put that Facebook one down here now, which means it's gonna mess it up again. I'm okay, I've still got two minutes. Um, and actually look, I, I've um, my question time comes up here. I've It's in the wrong place. It should be in show in current scene, not in show in all scenes. So I can go back to question time and I can say, right, let's pull this back to show in current scene. Now when I'm in screen share, I just change that position. So that needs to come back up. Uh, my comments overlay, yes, I'm kind of happy with where that is. I just need to slightly reposition it. So this happened to me the other week. Still got a minute 30 before I go live. Um, yeah, I'm ready with all that. And so what I now do is I don't say publish because publish is now going to make everyone stop seeing that video and see this scene. I can say back to live stream. I can come back into here. I now, I'm out of preview mode. I can close that one down if I want to. And uh, this will finish. And when it goes through, it goes to my next scene as planned. And uh, I sit here and I start my live. And no one has got a clue at what I've just been doing in the background, getting ready for it. I can jump now across to my screen share, to my comments, and everything that I just set and changed um, is happening in here. All right, so, um, <laughs> while I'm not, and in fact, let me stop this live now. Uh, Rachel will be looking going, oh no, does Adrian realize he's gone live? Um, so I can end my broadcast. Um, yeah, that is how I can be using this. So, and I have to say it worked for me last week. I totally got caught off guard. We'd got, um, Facebook had blocked our ads. Um, they put it back on the next day, but still caused us a lot of stress. Our internet was playing up. I was on a call with somebody about that. And I suddenly came through to my live with, you know, and I got in here and opened it and it's sitting going, click to go live. And I thought, ah, oh, I'm not ready. I, I haven't double checked everything. So I could just play that video, get all this ready. And literally 10 seconds before I go, right, I'm ready. And here I come. Uh, so it can absolutely save your life or save your life anyway. Um, but you know, that's not ideal. I'm not suggesting, oh, stick a four minute time and you don't need to think about it until you go live. But there will be times or there may be times where you've been caught off guard and uh, you just wanna have that buffer. Now I would struggle to do that if it weren't for having that timer at the start because yes, I could jump around on those while I was talking, but I'm not very good at multitasking like that. Um, 
So there's a couple of reasons. You, I'm not suggesting it's something that you have on and use every time you go live, but it's fantastic to know that it is there. And then all you're doing is you're going in, you're opening that preview mode. And if it's because you want to jump around in different scenes, you can edit them. You don't have to click save anywhere. And then you just say return to live and it brings you back. If you hit publish, then I think this is the confusion, you know, do I publish it or don't I? If you hit publish, it's going to make whatever's on this window suddenly go over to the live feed. All right, I hope that makes sense. Uh, let me know, ask in the comments if you want, if you're not sure about this and uh, have a go with it. Do like I've just done, go live to yourself, have a play with it, then you're not worried that anybody's watching. Um, but yeah, fantastic tool that you need to know how to use. Have a practice, let me know what you think to it and um, yeah, all the best. <laughs> See you in another video.